Okay, so last week we hit 700 subscribers and I just wanted to say thank you again to everybody for the support. You guys really keep me motivated and make me really want to make these videos. To say thank you, I made this poster here that we can all have a quick laugh at. Just leave a comment below and I'll pick someone next week and I'll send you something in the mail. Alright, so let's take our trip to GameStop. So here's Oni Chanbara Bikini Samurai Squad. I don't ever see this game. And right now GameStop is doing their four for 10 for games under $5, making this only two bucks. So I'm definitely picking this up. Here's Hulk Hogan's main event. I love the art here, but unfortunately it requires a Kinect sensor. And even though I want it to be good, I know it's garbage. Uh, here's the NBA 2K. This game is 79 cents. I mean, it might be a crumb bum game, but that's nothing. Here is one of those Wii games you never even knew existed. This is Jerry Rice and Nidus' dog football. This is a thing. I love the pun on the back here. Football has gone to the dogs. Anyway, this is a game I have been looking for because I do want to play it with the noobs at some point, but I just don't see it very often. Here is a Red Ranger koozie. It's three bucks, but the clearance stuff is 50% off. Here is Touch Mechanic. This is like the auto mechanic version of uh, Trauma Center. It's a very fun game. Here's Conduit 2 Limited Edition. I do have the first one, but I never got around to picking up the second one. I also just love the colors on this box. Here is Tony Hawk Motion. It actually comes with the Motion Pack for 79 cents, and that can be used with other DS games. So this is what I picked up. This stuff is four games for $8. I mean, you cannot beat that. Jerry Rice and Nidus' Dog Football, which I've been looking for. Oni Chambara Bikini Samurai Squad, which I've been looking for, for for a friend. It's just one of those ridiculous games that you never, you don't know how it ever came out. There's the Conduit 2 Limited Edition, and it comes with the art book. Just all this stuff is in really nice shape. And then here we have Nano Assault. I already have this game, but I couldn't find anything else to pair with it, so I picked that up, and I already have a buddy looking for it, so it's going to go to him. Okay, so last week GameStop had a buy two get one free, so I put in two orders of retro games, and this is stuff I ended up picking up. Most notable game on Capcom Classic Collection Volume 2 is probably Captain Commando. Here we have Robocop vs. the Terminator for the Genesis. Just a game I've been wanting to play. Contra Alien Wars is just a game that I never see. The Xbox version of Teen Titans is probably the most uncommon of the three. I'm actually very surprised that this came complete. Disc is a little rough, but I can learn to live with it. Pokemon Stadium 2 came in pretty good shape. There is a little label damage. And here we have Rock and Roll Racing, which I found the manual for that last year at the flea market. Tony Hawk's Motion with its Motion Pack, which can be used for other games, and the Red Ranger Power Rangers Koozie. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this, but GameStop really needs to get a different disc resurfacer or they need to be sending them to a different person. And now we're taking our trip to Savers. Here is a bin of Lego. The bags are $2.99 a piece, which is a pretty good deal if you're looking for it. Here's an Atari flashback modeling after the 5200. It does have its box, but $15 is still too steep for me. We have some little golden books here. This is a Nickelodeon Ninja Turtle one. I don't really care for the new design. Nice to see they're still making the books though. And then a Chippendale one. I've mentioned before Chippendale is one of my favorite cartoons ever, but there really just isn't a lot of merchandise for it. Here we have a Michelangelo figure from the new Michael Bay movies. These figures are some of the worst I've ever seen. There's like no articulation and they just don't look good. This is an Assassin's Creed Mega Blocks. Here we have a gunboat takeover. This looks pretty legit. And if you're into Assassin's Creed and assemble this, it'll look pretty good in your game room. This bag of Pokemon is not a bad deal for $2.99. There's some card sleeves in there and a, a Pikachu figure. Uh, here we have a nice looking Hello Kitty speaker. This is a bag with two dolls. One is Jesse from Toy Story and the other is Elsa from Frozen. Next to it we have a bag of G.I. Joe's and Terminator and Star Wars figures. There's a bunch with like broken off hands which is weird. And then we have some uh, video game novels. There's some Resident Evil, some Halo and Gears of War. Probably a pretty good read and pretty nice if you're into them. And then next to it we got some strategy guides. Now here's a Wii stand. 
I actually like this. I think it looks pretty cool, but it is really dirty. Five dollars isn't bad. And I mean, it holds everything. This probably isn't officially licensed, but it's pretty good looking overall. And then we have the uh, video game section here. Nothing crazy. There are some complete inbox DS games. We do have some 10 footer sandwich right there. Uh, Wii fits on both sides of a uh, Madden 07 for the Wii. And then I did pick these out. These are the better ones in there. Spyro a Hero's Tale, Mario Kart, Cars Race Arama, and the Legendary Star Fee. Three bucks a piece. Pretty good deal on all those. And so this is what they actually look like. They all had their manuals. Now this legendary Starfy here, you see how there's like those perforation marks around the things on the cover? The copy that I have, the person actually cut those out, so I've been wanting to replace mine. Here's a copy of Mario Kart Wii. I do a lot of trading and I always have people hitting me up about this game. And then here's the Spyro A Hero's Tale. I don't think I have this game, but it did come complete and it was in really nice shape. Three bucks a piece for all those was a really good deal. I tried to finagle a 20% discount, but they weren't having it. So still, three bucks is great. So here's that Chippendale Rescue Rangers Golden Book. This is the big cheese caper. I have a couple of these Disney Afternoon books like Tailspin and uh, Darkwing Duck, but I've been looking for a Chippendale one to kind of complete the line. This isn't in the best shape, but like I said, I just don't see a lot of Chippendale merchandise. And then here is the Jessie doll. She actually is in pretty good shape, but she is missing her hat. Pull string works, the voice box works. She's gonna look great sitting right next to Woody. I gave my niece that Elsa doll and she's been loving it. So I guess uh, two stones with one bird there. All right, so now it's time to hit the flea markets again. It's getting really hot out these days and these flea markets are outdoor. I mean, I've been waking up to like 95 degrees at like 8.30 in the morning. So you're gonna have to have your suntan lotion, your glasses, your hat, bottle of water to get through it. These were the signs I was talking about a couple videos ago, how you can't sell any coach products here and they uh, they want you to report any illegal or knockoff items. So it must have been rampant at one point. Here's a skip doctor. These don't leave the discs looking in the best shape, but they will make them work. This is a bin of just accessories. There's some Guitar Hero controllers in there. There's a plug and play here. I pulled this GameCube controller out of there. It needs a little TLC, but it looks fine. This Rebel Raiders game I didn't have, but I wanted just to kind of score a little bundle deal. Here's some lunch boxes. These are a little too old for the ones that, that I collect. Here's a Door of the Explorer Game Boy Advance, Smash to All Hell. And next to that, we have the Island Princess. And then if you follow the 10 footer trail of breadcrumbs, here's Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days, one of the worst games ever made. And then it just keeps going How to Train Your Dragon. What are the 10 footers we got around here? Shrek Carnival something. Up. Tinkerbell. Yeah, just the heap. Here's a $5 third party uh, pro controller for the Wii U. I don't know why I didn't grab that. And then here's some trash games here that I asked her if she'd take a dollar for that pop cap one. And she said, yeah. And then this is the guy who I bought some stuff before. I mean, there's nothing crazy here, but you can definitely find some stuff that you're looking for. There's Turok. A copy of Raw Danger was there before. Uh, Red Dead Redemption is actually here. There's a NASCAR game up there. I mean, you're definitely gonna be able to find something if you look through here, even if it's just one game. Star Wars Rebel Strike is right there. Now this is what I ended up picking up there. Here's Bejeweled 2 and Astro Pop. This is the Pop Cap Hits Volume 1. I've just been wanting to try that. Uh, from the guy who had all those games just previously, I picked up this Ultra Busta Move. This is an Xbox exclusive and the series is, is okay in general. It's not, I'm not super into it, but that was only $3 and it was complete. So I was going to pick it up. And here's this game, Ballers, the chosen one. This was a dollar and if it was even one more penny, I would have left it behind. But a dollar was the right price. You know what? I'll pick it up for that. And then here's that copy of Up. I know this is a 10 footer, probably crumb bum game, but something just drew me to it. I wanted to pick it up. It was only $2 and it was complete and I love collecting for the DS. So I said, what the heck? Here's that Rebel Raiders game. Now what I was talking about, about making a bundle, the guy already wanted $5 for the controller and all of his games and movies are a dollar. So I just wanted to find something that I could just say, how about both these for five? And that's what I did. And he said, yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then here's the GameCube controller. I cleaned it up. It doesn't need new sticks, but it does need a little bit more TLC. And then I found this uh, Bob's Burgers Pop in a vintage box of toys for a dollar a piece. 
And finally, for the other flea market that I normally hit, I mean, it was blazing this day too, but uh, people were out and about and they were selling it. It was nice and it was just a good time to be out and walking around, especially early in the morning, just getting out of bed and taking a little trip. So this one guy right away has these Wii games on the table. Sonic All-Star Racing, uh, I love the sequel and I've been really looking for that game. Here's Sonic and the Black Knight. I don't remember if that's a good or bad Sonic game. They have tons of bad ones. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, also I can't remember if that was a good one. Here's Wii, Wii Sports, and I believe that's Ben 10. Make sure you open everything up. Here's that copy of Wii Sports open, it is actually Wii Play inside. This is a stack of games just chilling over here. What do we have here? Just Dance, which is a 10-footer. Tiger Woods, which is a 10-footer. This is actually a sealed copy of Forza 4. Here's Skate It. These games, I believe, are $5 a piece. Here were just empty DS cases thrown under someone's table. He told me that they were $2 a piece, so I walked away. Then he said a dollar for both of the Cooking Mamas, and I took them. Witcher 2, uh, I always see people raving about this game. I don't really know why I'm showing it. I wasn't going to pick it up. This PlayStation, I should have picked up. It has a nice red memory card, and it has Crash 2 in there. I don't know why I didn't. This guy here was selling this four-pack of the crap to add to your Wii controller trash. Here's one of the coolest things at the entire flea market. These are Ren and Stimpy plush dolls. They're a little old and dirty, but they're overall in nice shape. Ren and Stimpy was my favorite cartoon back in the day, and uh, I just don't have the room for them, so I left them behind. Here's this bin of uh, some random video games. Here's Fable 2. There's a 360 console in there. Random controllers, random cords. Here's Lego Batman. Uh, the Lego games are pretty good. I just 100%ed uh, Lego Lord of the Rings with my girlfriend. And then here's Lego uh, Indiana Jones. And then inside, this guy just restocked his little game pile here. He said games were $3 each or three for f or $2 each or three for five. Uh, so I picked some up. Here's Cookie Mama 2, the case and manual. There's uh, three Shop and Shop. Those are 50 cents a piece. So I picked them up in case I find the carts. Sonic All-Stars Racing. Like I said, I love Transformed. I have not ever played this one, but I've been looking for it and I really do want to play it. And finally, these were the games I picked up. They were two apiece or three for five, which they used to be four apiece or three for ten. So I guess he's lowered his prices. Uh, that was Iron Man 2. Here's Sleeping Dogs. The best version of this to play is on the PS4. I haven't played either, so the PS3 one will be just fine for me. The discs are overall, I mean, they're Blu-ray, so they're in nice shape, but these cases have all seen better days. And here's like a 10-footer of 10-footers. It's Prison Break the Conspiracy. I used to love this show, especially the first season, one of the best first seasons of any series ever. And uh, there's the first set I got, the three games for $5. All complete and in pretty nice shape overall. And here's the second set, a little big planet game of the year edition. Complete, it is the greatest hit, but I believe it has all the DLC on it. Uh, here's Burnout Paradise. This disc is the roughest in the lot. There is a chip on the corner, but still the Burnout games are great and I don't have this game. And then lastly, uh, he had a copy of Wii Sports Resort. This manual is like, it has water damage and it's not open and it's sealed shut. But there wasn't any other game that I wanted, so I threw this on the pile. What have you been playing, listening to, reading? Thank you for watching, and as always, stay nerdy. Getting your nerd on. Getting your nerd on. Getting your nerd on. I got a raging nerd on.